Hi, this is DC Generator and in this video we are going to get relation between terminal voltage and induced EMF in short shunt generator. Yes, short shunt DC generator. Basically there are various types of DC generator and if you want to go through that thing then we have are these videos classification of DC generator working of DC generator construction of DC generator and all of these things are with animations it is going to be fun with learning here in this video we are going to get the equation and the approach we are going to learn this will be very much helpful for you when you are solving numericals on DC generator and you are about to understand the DC machine. So without doing further delay, let's begin the session. So to understand this thing, first of all, we'll go through the single line diagram and the cross-sectional view of short chain DC generator. So let's have a look. The armature winding is connected in series with one section of filled winding. Let's see the same arrangement in cross-sectional view. This is the armature winding and this is how the filled winding is connected in series with armature winding. Now in short chain generator, the parallel, the shunt section of filled winding is only in parallel with armature. The connection is like this, in parallel with armature. So let's have a look in the cross-sectional view how the winding actually is being placed in generator, right? So this is how the winding arrangement is done of short shunt DC generator. Our purpose is to get a relation between terminal voltage and induced EMF. And to do this thing, we will have a equivalent circuit of short shunt DC generator. So let's have a look to the equivalent circuit. Here yeah, all the arrangement is same but the armature winding is being replaced with the armature resistance and a DC source. This DC source is basically the representation of induced EMF in armature winding. And now let's have the shunt filled winding. So this is the equivalent circuit. Now let's have a look of electrical parameters in short shunt DC generator. Basically. This RSE represents the resistance of series filled winding. RA is the resistance of armature winding. E is induced EMF and RSH is the resistance of shunt filled winding. And between these two terminals, we have the terminal voltage V. Now our aim is to establish relation between terminal voltage and induced EMF. So how we can do that thing? To do that thing, what we can do, we can apply KVL in this closed loop. But to have that equation, we need to have the current flowing through this circuit. So basically, when we get induced EMF E in armature, because of this EMF, we will get the armature current. This armature current is divided into two sections from this junction point. One current flows through the shunt field winding and the another current flows through the series field winding to the load. This current is known as the load current and this current is known as the shunt field current. So from this distribution we can write the equation for IA that is basically this. So now we have this IA current and from this if we apply the KVL in this closed loop we will get this equation. This equation basically represents this terminal voltage V is equal to the voltage drop in this resistance and the voltage drop in this resistance is being subtracted from the total induced EMF and we will get the terminal voltage V. But to exactly find the value of IA we should know the value of ISH also. So how we can get the value of ISH? It is simple voltage across these two terminal divided by this resistance. But for that thing we should know the voltage across these two terminals. So how can we get that? The equation for that is this VSH is equal to 
total voltage V minus voltage drop across this resistance. So V minus IL RSC will give us the voltage across these two terminals. And now from this we can have the equation of ISH which is basically equal to VSH divided by RSH. So if we rearrange this equation we can write it for E which is equal to V plus IAR plus IL RSE. So this is how you can establish relation between terminal voltage V and induced EMF E. But now it's time for your brain test and for that I'm going to ask you a small question and you need to write the answer of that question in comments below. Your question is this. From previous equation, can you tell me the relation between induced EMF E and terminal voltage V? The options are this. Watch options carefully, think, analyze and then write the answer in comment section below. If you find any query and questions regarding this understanding, then also you can write that thing in comment section below. But just answer in comment section below. I am asking this question just to make you aware that whether really you have learned anything from this video or not. Right? So do not forget to write the answer in comment section below. In next video, we are going to learn new things about DC generator. And if you want to go for other videos, you can check out the playlist on DC generator. The link is just in comments below or above here in card. I insist you, you just at least check out this playlist once. If you want to watch animated videos on other topics of electrical engineering or other topics of any other uh, subject or branch, you can write that thing in comment section below. I'll try to make videos on that topic. So until we meet again in our next video, till that time, bye bye.